So an interesting thing happened this week. Alex Jones, via his lawyers, has informed the United States Department of Justice that he would absolutely be more than willing to cooperate with them in an ongoing uh, grand jury, actually, investigation they have about the events of January 6th. There's just one little catch, right? Alex Jones isn't just going to walk in there, tell him everything he knows. He wants, in exchange for his full and complete cooperation, immunity from prosecution. Huh. Now that's interesting. Now think about that for a moment, folks. Suppose you're in a bank, right? You're in there, you put money in, take money out, whatever it is you're trying to do in the bank. You're just picturing yourself in a bank, okay? Somebody walks in and they rob the bank and you watch the whole thing happen because you're standing right there. The police come to you later and say, hey, oh my God, okay, so you're a witness in this bank robbery. We're going to need you to cooperate with us. Do you tell the police, do you go up to them and say, Hey, listen, I'm more than willing to cooperate, but you got to promise not to prosecute me. The, the police and prosecutors and investigators in that case are going to say like, wait, wait, what, 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 why, why would we prosecute you? What, what, what is going on here, fella? And that's kind of the way I look at this thing with Alex Jones. Like, yeah, okay. I'm more than willing to, pro uh, to cooperate. Just, you can't prosecute me. I want immunity. I want that deal. I'm sure the DOJ is probably like, wait, what dude, dude, we haven't even subpoenaed you and you're already trying to cut a deal with us. What the hell is going on? That is what I would think if I were working on this case with the DOJ and I, and I hope it's what they think too. Like, well, dude, we, we, we haven't subpoenaed you. We haven't uh, really even gotten off the ground yet with this grand jury. And you're already trying to strike a deal with us so that you don't get prosecuted. Hmm. Something doesn't smell right about that. Now, in all fairness, Jones's lawyer did make clear to the DOJ, my client's done nothing wrong, right? There is no criminal activity. He didn't break the laws that day. He just doesn't trust the government. And that's why he wants the immunity deal. So that's the story coming from Jones and his attorneys. So he swears he didn't break the law, but also wants that immunity in exchange for his cooperation. So tricky situation here for the DOJ, right? What do you do? Clearly, in my opinion, okay, I cannot, I'm not stating this as a fact. I'm giving you my opinion on this. My opinion is that Alex Jones clearly has something to hide. You don't ask for immunity unless you're actually afraid of being prosecuted. That's just a thing. So if Alex Jones had committed a crime that day, is the crime more intriguing, more worthwhile than his full and complete cooperation? Ah, that's where you got to start weighing things out. Do we want to arrest Alex Jones? Well, that's not going to do a whole heck of a lot of much, is it? Right? Let's be honest here. If Alex Jones did break any laws that day, well, we, we know he didn't kill anybody. We would have known if he had assaulted somebody. So you're probably looking at misdemeanors or like very minor felonies that are going to put him away for three to six months at best, which means three to six months later, he's back on the air. He's spewing his vial and whatever. Is that worth it? We also know that he's buddy, buddy with the folks that put on that stop the steal rally, people like Ali Alexander, who has been subpoenaed, but has made it clear he fully intends to comply. But Alex Jones is also friends with a lot of other folks that were there that day. He may have some behind the scenes information because he did march with Ali Alexander to the Capitol. They were a part of the march. Could he possibly prove that the march had been orchestrated, that the riot itself had been orchestrated prior to the rally? Mm. As much as it pains me to say it, I say, give him the immunity. I say, give him in this particular instance, blanket immunity on the condition that he name names and he actually has information that could lead to the conviction of one or more individuals. In fact, you know what? Two or more individuals. Let's make that the stipulation. Because if we're going to not arrest one guy, you better be able to give us two to make it worthwhile. So those are the conditions I would lay out as the DOJ. But I do think in this instance, yes, 
give him the immunity because if he's willing to cooperate and knows that he's got nothing to worry about, let it fly, right? That's my take on it. You may have a differing opinion, which is totally fine. You may say, nah, to hell with it. Prosecute him. Look, I'm not going to lose any sleep either way. Prosecute him. Let him turn in all his buddies. Either way, I think it's a win-win situation. It'd be great to have both, but we know we're not going to get both. Unless, of course, Ali Alexander might want to cut a deal. Now, could that be why Alex Jones is trying to preemptively cut a deal? Oh, somebody's going to roll on somebody in this instance, and it's only a matter of time before we get to see who it is that rolls. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh not be so grumpy.